Fresh Kid Z, Fresh Kid C, yes, Fresh Kid P, Fresh Kid T. Oh yeah, we back. Oh, and Zafu, by the way. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, what's up? This is day 159, and everything do is doing awesome. With the addition of the new Bionic, a lot of stuff has been growing. And also, yesterday, I, these polyps, they were also mostly closed, as you might have saw. They're not open all the way yet, but they're open a lot more than they were yesterday. That was because when I was dosing the Bionic, the calcium level was too high, which was causing the alkalinity to drop a little bit, so I just adjusted that today, and... I you know, adjusted it yesterday and everything, well everything was pretty much doing fine. I just put another, I just dosed it again so that's why the, this torch core was all swole, swollen up or whatever. But everything else is, hasn't really seemed to change from like about a minute ago when I put the calcium in. This was also closed up quite a bit but now it's back open all the way. So, alright. Let's go. Start with the frog spawn. It is still big. It's huge. And as you can see, I, don't know, I think it's splitting into like three heads. It mostly split into two. Now it's just working on the third head, I'm guessing. But you can see the color difference. Like, here, let, me, let me try to hold it pretty steady. But see how it's like a lot brighter green? And then when I take it off, it's not as green. So. That's what the blue LEDs do to that, and I like that. So that's why I have them aiming, the blue LEDs aiming at that. The torch coral is doing good. I haven't really noticed it get that much bigger, but it's. I think it might have been getting a little bit greener, actually. So that that's cool. And then the feather duster. I don't know if feather dusters can move, so post a comment. Let me know if feather dusters can move, because... I put it in kind of the, that position twice over a little bit more and the next day it's been moved like right now it's moved over to the right a little bit of where I had it so I don't know if feather dusters can come out and move but it's been trying to go behind in that little spot as you saw probably last week's update and all these polyps there keep budding making more heads and everything those orange and yellow polyps so that's cool. I, I like the color of both of them. Mostly the orangish brownish ones, but yellow one's cool too. And then my green star polyps, I cut. There was a dead section from when my tank got up to 90 degrees, just a tiny dead section. So I cut it off from the bottom. I think I might have cut off one live polyp, but not that big of a deal. And then it's growing all along the back. So hopefully that spreads onto the bottom rock. See, there's a little bit of coralline algae. So that's doing really well. It's, I think it's been spreading a lot more since I added the Bionic. And these two polyps, I don't know what they're called. If you know what they're called, let me know. If you can just take a guess, guess is better than my guess because I don't know what they're really called. As you can see, there's a little bit of Kenya tree behind it. I cut cut a piece off of my Kenya tree because it kept touching the yellow and orange star polyps and now it's kind of it, it was tilted up leaning back in that crack but I gotta move that again and here's my blue semi pulsing xenia that's what I'm gonna call it because they pulse and they don't pulse right now they're not pulsing really kinda but I cut that it was splitting so I cut it right in the middle of the stalks and now they're like spreading apart um hopefully those start spreading like start making new stalks and stuff because those two stalks have been there the whole time just splitting so yeah that's cool and also another thing i cut my green mushroom in half when it was on the rock because it was that's all it's been doing for the past like month probably for the past like couple months it's just been slowly splitting so I just took a knife cut in half because it was or the mouths were pretty much two mouths it still wasn't done splitting so and then that green mushroom one of the green mushrooms has come up to the front 
and the other one's just finishing healing. So that's cool. And as you can tell, the LEDs help a lot. It's like reddish brown, and then it looks green. So I'm probably gonna get some more LEDs once I get a job. I've been looking for a job for a while. I'm just going to college and living at my parents' house. So yeah, I've applied at a few places, so hopefully I get a job and then I'll be able to spend more money on my tank. So yeah, my uh, kryptonite, kryptonite candy cane corals, those really haven't done much. The only thing I've noticed is that one's growing more up and the one on the right is growing more out. I haven't noticed any splitting, any new heads growing, I don't know. But they look like they're doing good. The mouth on it, it's really bright, as you can tell, but the mouth on it, this looks good. Not splitting or anything. And as you can see my A-can, it's splitting, or not splitting, well it is splitting. Splitting and growing, I think five new heads or something. Yeah, I think five new heads. but. It's growing a lot slower than I thought it would. And those are the two mushrooms that were on the pipe. And I don't know where the third mushroom is, but the fourth mushroom is still on the pipe down there. I don't know if it's gonna live, I just put it down there. Cause there's coralline algae and hopefully it would sweep through and spread a little bit faster. And there's a hermit crab. There's another hermit crab in there. And my fire shrimp, it moved. I don't know if you can see it. It's up behind my power head. You can see kind of one of the little things. But this mushroom, it's making a baby. That's what I'm assuming because that's what my blue mushroom did and it made a baby. It's like its foot is like coming off and it's like really skinny. And that's what happened right here. You can see the little baby. That's exactly the same thing, so that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Because I've had them for quite a long time and they haven't made babies. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it with the corals. And my clowns, they're still doing good. That one had a scratch on the side, on the opposite side, that was kind of dark. But I started, my the food I have, it has garlic in it. But I have some garlic guard, so I just started dipping it in garlic, and it looks like it's been healing up. I can't really see it on the camera, but that's good, because it's not very big. And they haven't been doing the freak out dance anymore. And I think the black one is getting bigger than the orange one now. I don't really know what's going on. But they seem to be hanging out a little bit more than they used to, so hopefully they're deciding who's the female. And my strawberry dotty back, as you can tell, there's absolutely zero aggression towards my other fish. Which is really good because I love the color of that. It looks awesome. And I don't know yet, but I might get another fish in the future. Not a big fish like these. I'm thinking about getting like a yellow clown goby. Those are way smaller than any of these. So I don't think that would be a big problem. But... If you have any other suggestions of another fish I could put in it, or if I shouldn't get another fish, then let me know. The system is very stable, as with the nitrates and everything. I'm still getting all the calcium and alkalinity zeroed in, but I won't get a new fish until I get that all done. Oh, and then that red mushroom and the little tiny feather duster is doing good right there. So, with my fish, that's about it. So, down... Yeah, and I haven't noticed any, like, white spots on it, so there's definitely no diseases. Unless I can't see the disease right now, but yeah. And down with my sump, as you can tell, my Ketomorpha is a lot greener than it used to be. It's because I w I there wasn't enough calcium, but now there's a plenty, and as you can see, my whole sump is, like, filled. And as with the... Uh, the, the amphipods, you can see some of them. There's not as many because the algae isn't, I'm guessing it's not the type of algae that they like to eat, but there's quite a few. I'm guessing it's all in the sand and the catomorpha and all that stuff. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it. My fan, 
it keeps it cool, which is awesome. So I don't have to really worry about my tank heating up like crazy again. So that's good. And I might get, I might upgrade this to a 40 gallon tank sometime in the future, not like within the next couple months. Or I might just get a new tank <laughs> and make some rock for it and stuff. But I like the 10 gallon, that's why I want to kind of keep this 10 gallon, maybe just start up a new tank. Because that would be awesome. And then hopefully when I move, hopefully I can keep the 10 gallon at least. Maybe uh, maybe my apartment would allow a 40 gallon or something. I'd have to talk to the landlord. But hopefully I'm moving out next year since my sister is not going to be in college anymore. So, yeah. This is my tank, day 159. Hope everything looks good. I might be getting some new corals next week. I don't know, I might go check it out at the fish store, see if anything new is up. So yeah, day 159. See you guys next week. I think I'm going to change the days I do updates on Wednesday. It's a little easier, more in the middle of the week. Because on Sundays I got some homework that I got to do most likely. But yeah, day 59, or 159. Alright, see you guys next week.